Welcome back to Crown's Crypto Cave and welcome to this next entry within this options tutorial program. Today we will be focusing on the call. The calls, of course, they are the more bullish of the two variety of options, that being calls and puts. The call gives the holder the right but not obligation to be a buyer of the underlying asset at a specified expiration date for a special uh, a, sp a specified strike price plus a premium of course we're going to get into all of these as time goes on but for right now i'm going to get in the live scene and we're going to actually go look at some examples of calls of course again we're going to go into much more detail soon enough but remember if you're a holder of a call you are essentially bullish you want price action to go up now of course there are a bunch of different moving parts over here as we can see on derivit and yes this will be similar on just about any option spreadsheet but your calls are going to be on your left hand side right over here this is your strike price right in the middle right here here are the uh here's the best bid and best ask on your different strike prices for calls and then of course various other pieces of information which we'll probably brush up on at some point in time but for now all that i want to get out in this video is that yes the call if you are a holder if you are a buyer of calls you are bullish you are bullish looking for essentially a specified strike price at that specified expiration date and you paid some sort of premium for it if you're holding now of course just like with any option you can be both long and short or long or short i should say you can't be long and short the same option at the same time of course you can't do that but you can be long or short what i mean to say is that you can actually sell this option so if you were a seller of calls that would be a more bearish setup although <laughs> there are contingencies with that. It does not necessarily operate in the same way. But for now, the big pieces of information, call. If I'm longer call, I'm bullish. I want essentially the price action to be above the specified strike price that I looked at. And I want it to be above also the premium that I paid for it at that expiration date. If that happens, then I will have the exposure of one, in the case of Bitcoin land, one Bitcoin for every one call contract that I own. So if I paid, let's say we are currently at about 3,800, let's say I paid $30 for one 3875 strike call right here. I paid 30 bucks for that and it's expiring at the end of the week. Well, basically I want the price, I want the price of Bitcoin to go above 3875 plus the premium that I just paid. And then for each and every dollar after that, I'll be making $1 as I just own one contract, AKA one Bitcoin. Now, of course, when we're talking about Bitcoin land, this is this is settled European style, meaning at the end of the week, at the end of the expiration date, whenever that might be, you it will be cash settled technically in Bitcoin for for for, for this example, but it'll be cash settled as opposed to American style options, which are settled 100 shares for every one option that's in the money. So of course, this is not going to make too much sense right now, but I do want to get these ideas out because we're going to we're going to be revisiting as we build them up. So again, the big important things to be aware of right now, calls. Calls, you want to be long them if you are bullish. Of course, there's many of other ways of doing it. You can also sell them. That would mean that you're more bearish. And they have three big moving parts that we want to get out during this tutorial series. That is, again, the expiration date, the premium price, that you're paying and also the strike price at which, it, at which it gets activated. So that's gonna do it for this one right here. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.